Let's heal up. We got some more bodies here. Desiccated corpse. I'm guessing it's supposed to say desecrated. I don't know if desiccated is a word. Mantled college robes. Clothes. Chest. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything here of note. But there has to be something down here because I jumped down here after all. Huh. What about over here? Anything maybe? Nope, that's just, just kind of a drop down. This place is huge. Oh wait, can I cut through this? <laughs> yes I can, there we go, beautiful. A little bit of a secret tunnel. <gasps> I think this leads right where I need to go. I want to go see the whole insecurity now. I want to know what is so... Oh god, that's a lot of spiders. I want to see the whole insecurity. Is it just going to be a bunch of spirits telling me that I look fat? I mean, that would make me pretty insecure. That would work. Goddamn spiders. You've been poisoned. But unlike Henry Jenkins, you're not gonna die like a bitch. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Ugh, stupid spiders. Um, uh, where do we go from here now? Where do we go? This way? Perhaps? This looks different. This does not look like the way I came from. Entirely. It is the way I came from. Never mind. I went in a circle. That'll show me. Thinking I know where I'm going. Uh, anything over here? Perhaps, maybe? This place makes me a little claustrophobic, not gonna lie. Goddamn spiders everywhere! Wait. One down. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going the right way this time. One, because there's more enemies, and any time in a video game that there's more enemies, you're usually going the right way. I remember I heard that... I'm trying to remember what I heard that in the first time I heard it. I was like, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I think it was Freeman's Mind. I'm pretty sure it was Freeman's Mind. And for those of you who don't know what Freeman's Mind is, go look up Freeman's Mind on YouTube. It's... It was one of my favorite things, um, years and years and years ago. And I was gonna say on early YouTube, but not really early YouTube, just because YouTube is already at least five years old at that point, I suppose, which means... No, I guess it was five years ago or so, five or six years ago. Freeman's Mind was essentially, uh, this guy who was with Machinima, or was partnered with Machinima, was making a... I guess I would call it a Let's Play? Because it wasn't necessarily edited, I don't think. I don't know how he did it in terms of the dialogue. I think he just did it um, improv style, but I could be entirely wrong, and he just recorded it after the fact. Uh, but essentially, he just played through Half-Life 1 as Morgan Freeman, and it was one of the funniest things at the time. And I'm sure it still is one of the funniest things, too. I loved it so much. And I don't think he ever finished it, either, but... Goddamn, was it amazing, and I loved it. I think he actually went over to, um... What's it called when it came out? Um... Black Mesa. When the mod was released. But I could be wrong. Either way, fantastic series. I recommend it. And it's just... Oh, man. I'm gonna go rewatch it now, because now I'm... Oh, Halls of Fear. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I just really liked Freeman's mind. Uh, I remember he did an April Fool's Day episode. He did a lot of really fun stuff, and it was just a really good series, and the guy... The guy's funny. And he had a voice that, you know, you would listen to the series and go, Okay, I can see him being the voice of Morgan Freeman. I kinda can, even though Morgan Freeman never speaks. Uh-oh. Why are all the spirits here? Uh-oh. Dragon Loyalist disappeared. And no one's talking. I don't know if they were supposed to, because this is kind of barred off. Yorick! Yorick and Dragon Loyalist. Are they supposed to speak? They're just staring at me right now. 
I take it they're supposed to speak. I honestly don't know. Also, the spirits disappear sometimes, I've noticed. It's weird. Um. I'll take the gold ingot. I don't know why. Not sure what I'm supposed to do, because this is... Oh, wait, there's another way to go. Please tell me this is the way out. It is not. Oh, wait, nope, there's a tunnel. Does this just lead to the Hall of Insecurity? <gasps> Can I go be insecure now about stuff? Would not argue with that entirely. Oh, underwater. Well, not really underwater. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, nope. Underwater it is. I don't know if I'm s supposed to be in the Hall of Insecurity, but I'm here, so... Time to get real insecure about myself. Time to question everything. Um, hello? Damn, it requires a key. So I wasn't supposed to come here after all. Huh. Now I'm just not sure then. Alright. Oh, we got a spirit. Oh, please talk to me. What? Yorick will not talk to me. There he is. Quick, inform the others. Wait, what? Yorick, you made it. There we go. I had hoped you would be the one to succeed hard for you. It was not easy, I assure you. The Master's test is one of cruel tricks and lethal traps. I am just glad to see you safe. Come, Yori. Your initiation should begin soon. The others should be on their way to the main chamber. Alright, okay, so... I guess the trigger for them was just acting up a little bit. Oh no, don't tell me this is sealed off now. Oh, please tell me you have a way to unlock this. Please tell me you can unlock that gate. If they just walk through it, I'm gonna be a little pissed. And who? Are you guys just staring at the skeleton? How did I... How do I get back there? How... Oh, this way. Okay, yeah, no, I don't know why I thought I was locked off from the main room. Hopefully now, having seen them talk, that'll unlock uh, this area. Nope, okay, that's still locked. Can you two talk already? Nope, you don't want to talk? All right, fine, be that way. Yeah, I have a feeling that the triggers for this section are just kind of maybe a little wonky because... They talked back there, but there was no way to get to that room that they were looking at, and then they disappeared. And now I'm here. What's in here? Red Mountain Flowers. Alright. Yeah, so they won't talk to me, and I can't really seem to do anything either. Huh. Alright, so I can't seem to hit any sort of uh, trigger. For these two, and I walked around a bit more, waited a few minutes, um, and aside from that one conversation they had, I can't seem to hit anything, and I couldn't get into the Hall of Insecurity as you guys saw earlier. The only thing that I haven't tried is going back into that little water area and hoping that maybe, just maybe, there is something at the bottom of that, but I kind of doubt it. But let's find out. Out. Oh, and my game crashed. Alright, so I went down the trap door and there's nothing down there. Like, literally nothing. <laughs> uh, restarting the game did not seem to help with the triggers at all. And... Because I'm pretty sure that the triggers, you know, activate the rest of the quest. Like, I don't think that using... Um, toggle collisions to go through this door or... The door in the main hall would be a good idea, because I'm pretty sure those opening would probably trigger something else for the rest of the quest, so that it takes place. Um... I guess I could use... console commands to try and... 
force the quest to move forward, but I don't know how well how well that would work. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to break here for today. I'm going to message the mod authors, see if they have anything to say, if they can give me any words of wisdom, see if there is some sort of glitch going on with this stage of the quest. All right, I'm back. I did hear back from the mod author, and essentially they gave a few different tips, and I tried a couple of them off screen, and they just didn't work all that well. Uh, one of the suggestions was just reloading a save from before, you know, your first time in here, which I did, and I got the scene with these two over there again, but once again, they are not conversing over here. Um, which they are. They are supposed to have another conversation here, which opens up the main gate. I also fooled around with the quest stage a little bit, because that was another recommendation from the mod author, and I fooled around with it for a few minutes, and it didn't seem to open the door or trigger the conversation at all, so I wasn't too sure. They also said, worst case scenario is just open that gate, and well, just see what happens from there, so I'm gonna fool around with the quest stage a little bit more, and if not, then I'll just disable the gate and go through that. Uh, so there's an altar of Debella down here. Doesn't really seem to do anything, though. I don't even see it. I guess it's just I'm supposed to pray here, essentially. All right. Uh, fooled around with the quest IDs and, well, quest stage. They disappeared, but no conversation. The door is still locked, so I'm going to just disable this. As it was suggested to me. And, um, I do want to say that the mod authors did say that they tested it and that it was working for them. And I believe them, frankly. I, I'm sure it worked for them. Uh, it's probably just a matter of, you know, I have 10,000 mods. Which is probably what just leads to some issues every now and then. Because no one else reported issue with the mods. So I don't want people thinking that the mod's broken because... I mean, so far it's been working pretty well and I've been enjoying it. Hello there. So I think I just have to fight through Draugr here, so... I'm just gonna fight through them very slowly, very carefully. Not really that carefully, but... Oh god, they're shouting at me. Alright, I'm gonna see where I have to go and I'll be back in a second. Okay, then, that gate closed and this door opened, so it seems that even though I missed some other triggers, that things seem to be going in the right direction. Black Soul Gem, don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Got grow dry at the blood letter. Oh, boy. Oh, God, he's gonna murder me, isn't he? I don't think so, buddy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Went for the kill. I just don't want him to murder me because I haven't saved lately. And the Draugr here were not my best friends in the world. They were actually quite tanky. Oh, he's chasing me. I mean, it makes sense that he would chase me. He is trying to kill me after all. Oh, quick. While well, he's stunned. Okay, good. Just dodge and repeat, dodge and repeat. Don't mind if I do. I can't search him, though. I guess I'm not supposed to search him. That being said, the fact that he did spring to life is a good sign, and this gate is open. So it seems everything is going on the right track, and I didn't really miss too much with the quest markers then. Wait, come on. Okay, there you go. But yeah, the mod authors did say that it would eventually sort itself out if it didn't work. And they would have given me the correct quest stage IDs, but they couldn't get to their creation kit at the moment, so... I understand that. I get you. Uh-oh. Wait, no, where'd you go, you stupid ghost? Open that gate for me, please. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Aw, oh, this poor man lost his satchel. I'll take that. Throw that lever. Does that open the gate? Yeah, it does. Beautiful. Alright, so minus the fact that I missed out on that one scene, everything seems to be going well, and that is good. It makes me very, very happy. This place is very dark, though. Let's go down the stairs, I suppose? Never mind, that's a dead end. <laughs> Damn it, world. I just wanted to go down these stairs. Uh, hippity up. Dead end. Skeleton. 
Anything over here? Yeah, we got some stuff. This place is huge. The cults. This cult, they were... They were very big, let me tell you. They knew what they were doing. I was half expecting that gate to close and lock me in, and then I have to find a way out, so I'm glad it didn't. This is trapdoor. Master lock. I'll come back for that, because I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to have to go. Oh, wait, no. Maybe this is, although that looks like a dead end, too, so maybe not. So, master lock downstairs thing it is. Alright, whoop. A little bit of a fall, a little bit of a tumble. I was half expecting this to be a dead end. Ah, oh, come on! Damn it! You teasing with me, game, you teasing with me. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. Wasn't entirely a dead end. Okay, good, because I didn't see a way to get back up there because of the drop. Uh-oh, Draugr! How you doing there? Oh, you're so fearsome, Mr. Draugr. No shouting for you, though. Nope, no shout. Okay, fine, you shout a little bit. Use your indoor voice, sir. There you go, indoor voice. This place is massive. Hi there, just kind of standing around? I probably shouldn't have hit you. You're probably going to be fine with me. Nope. Down you go. So he doesn't care, so I'm not going to bother him. Oh, never mind, now he cares. Now they care. Alright. Oh, there's another one back there. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Oh, I have awoken the beast. Wait. Down you go, and down you go. Wait, let me heal up a little bit. Wait, no, I don't have my healing on. I have my shield. I should probably use that shield. Except I don't have stamina, so that could be a problem. Yeah, no, you shout, I shout, we all shout together. Wait, and down you go, beautiful. Oh, that's still locked. Which means I have to go back this way. Hi. Don't mind me, anyone. I'm not here to cause any trouble. What are you talking about? Now, now I'm here to cause trouble. All right. Oh wait, why did that open? There was no one in there. Oh, I think what it is is that these Draugr were supposed to be either in the the sarcophaguses or stuff like that, and they just for whatever reason weren't, and that's why they were not hostile. I'm stuck in the corner. Fuck off. I'm gonna die, because I'm God, damn, stuck in the corner. I can't move them at all. I'm gonna die. Yep, I knew it. So I think I skipped this door before. So let's see. Oh, we got a puzzle. This might be important. So snake, whale. So the middle one's a mystery. Snake. Well, now where's the pull switch for that matter? Or do I not need to throw a switch? Like if it's the right one, will that just open up? I hope. Cause I don't see a switch at all. Um. Nope, I don't see anything. But I can't come back to this floor because, like, I'll show you, because it's, um, it's a drop down to that one, but there's no way up, there's no ladder or anything. So I should probably double check to see if I can find a switch or something like that. Yep, nope, no switch, so let's head back down the way we went before. Hippity hop. Hopefully not get cornered immediately. Let's just kill them now. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be in that little cubby hole. You know, the little, the little deathbed. And for whatever reason, he's just standing idly by. Which would explain why he's not hostile at first. Makes sense. Makes sense to me, at least. Knock you guys down. Oh, that... Oh, there's a stairwell. It leads up. Oh, that might be where I need to go. Can you not shout? That'd be wonderful. Whoa, I was trying to get my shield out. Leave me alone. I 
Need to heal up again. The Draugr are a little persistent. The fact that they can all shout is not my favorite thing in the world. Which, that just happens whenever you're a high level in Skyrim. Like, that's just how it goes. Every Draugr you run into knows how to shout. And they're just very adamant about it. Oh god, as they try to shout me off the stairs, yeah. Thank you, no thank you. Not enough magic. They're gonna follow me. He's gonna come out and try to murder me. Alright, yep. Let's just close this door. You guys stay outside. Hi there, Mr. Draugr. How you doing there? And the other one is not my friend either, go figure. Oh, whoa, where did you come from? I didn't see you here. God damn it. Yeah, they're all just gonna shout at me, aren't they? Come on. Wait. One down. 10,000 more to go. Nope, no shout. Indoor voice. Goddamn indoor voice. They never listen. They never learn. Alright, let's keep going through. Oh, he came out of that one, didn't he? That's where that other guy came from. There was nothing in here. Just another dead end, it looks like. Yep, just another dead end, so let's move on. Draugr are gonna be waiting outside, be like, hey, where'd you go? We weren't done with you yet. Like, I was done with you. It's okay. Where does this lead? This leads back upstairs. Is this the dead end from before? Did the gate open? Huh, maybe. This is the same room as before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it definitely is. Alright, so I can get back up here. Good to know. Got the Draugr back downstairs. Hey, I told you. Fortunately for me, they didn't bother to heal up at all, which I am perfectly fine with. No arguments on my part. Don't get me wrong. Wait. You're going down, sir. Sir. Wonderful. Open this door up. Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, he was supposed to be in there, as you can tell from... The fact that it opened and then he became hostile. <laughs> Wait. I can get him. I got him. Down you go. Beautiful. Oof. Now. Oh, hey there. Yeah, no, I see you shouting at me. I see it all right. Just bash him on the head. Just bippity boop. Said bippity boop. God, for a dead guy, he is really fucking strong. So that's the dead end. Just double checking. So I came from there. Let's go down this way. Another stairwell leads down. We need to open that up. Hear the Draugr breathing. There's one of them. Oh no, this is the place from before. Alright. Oh, there's a lot more of them, aren't there? That doesn't open that gate, so it's gotta open another gate. Look at how many are on my compass, goddammit. What does that open? What does it open? What does it do? I just want to know. Maybe it opens... I don't know where the other gate was. There was another gate. And I don't remember where it was because there's like 10,000 places to go. God damn it, I'm so turned around. I'm so lost and confused in everything in the world. Oh boy. We're never getting out of here, let me tell you. <laughs> 